And in other news, despite statements by lead investigator Eric Palacios, at least one agency is still looking into the possibility that the source of contamination for five GWA water wells could still be from AFFF, or aqueous film form forming foam. PNC's Tim Blas McHenry has more. It appears at least one agency is still pursuing the possibility that the PFOS, a contaminant found in 5GWA water wells, could have come from firefighting foam or aqueous film forming foam or AFFF. In a statement to PNC, NAVFAC PIO Catherine Norton says that the Navy is working with all involved stakeholders on a work plan to determine if AFFF is responsible for the contamination of at least the NAS-1 Teedzen well, which is located near the airport. The man leading an investigation into the possible source of contamination for the wells is former Guam EPA Chief Eric Palacios. Palacios said last week on Mornings with Patty on K57 that he has dismissed AFFF as a possible source of contamination contamination, saying it was, quote, illogical to assume that the contamination could have come from AFFF. Blash has said that PFOS, which is an ingredient in firefighting foam, is also commonly found in household products, such as nonstick frying pans. He says it is likely that the contamination comes from overflowing sewage from heavy rain events that eventually mixed with rainwater and then got into the wells. In their statement, Norton says the Navy is aware that one of the drinking water wells, the NAS-1 specifically, tested above the U.S. EPA's health advisory level for PFOS. Through its environmental restoration program, the Navy is developing a work plan in coordination with GIPA, the Guam National Airport Authority, GWA, and the U.S. EPA and other stakeholders for additional sampling of nearby water monitoring wells. According to Norton, firefighting training pits were active at the former Naval Air Station from 1955 until the base closed in 1995. Norton says AFFF was used at the site, potentially, from 1965 to 1983. According to NAFAC, the Environmental Restoration Program is a Department of Navy-initiated program to identify, investigate, and clean up former waste disposal sites on military property. In other words, the Navy is supposed to look at any contaminant that was found on a property previously owned by the Navy to find out if during that time of ownership they were responsible. Earlier this month, GWA General Manager Miguel Bordalio said that the US EPA found the contaminant PFOS in five GWA drinking water wells. Three of the wells tested for levels of PFOS above the US EPA health advisory levels of 70 parts per trillion. In fact, they tested at anywhere from 70 to 410 parts per trillion, six times more than the health advisory level. Guam is not the only place concerned about firefighting foam. However, according to an Associated Press article, Norristown, Pennsylvania, where a family is suing the Navy, alleging their drinking water has been tainted by firefighting foams once used at two former bases in suburban Philadelphia. In this case, because PFOS is found in so many other common places, the article states that Navy officials say even blood tests could not say where or how someone becomes exposed to PFOS. The article states that in Norristown, more than a dozen public wells and over 140 private wells in the area have been taken offline because of PFOS contamination. For PNC News, I'm Tim Bosmick-Henry.